Hello again, everybody. Welcome back to Trails of Cold Steel 2. All right. Right. So we just finished off in Berea Hard, and I brought myself back here to the Courageous uh, to do a little bit of training, specifically in these three rooms you see here. Now, you have to use, you know, specific setups um, to meet the certain conditions. If you meet the conditions, you get the rewards. Uh, this NPC here does levels 1 through 3, while this one does levels 4 and 5. And it's levels... You have to do all five of them in order to get a Master Quartz from each of the training. So I went ahead and just did that off-screen because there was a lot of traveling back and forth from here to Ymir, so on and so forth. But for my efforts, we were awarded three different uh, Master Quartzes. Uh, quite specifically, I believe they gave us the Cypher, the Chevalier, and the Magus. So if you want those Master Quartz, do the training. Now, there are a few other things I haven't done yet. Namely turning in certain food items to certain NPCs. Uh, if you come over here and you talk to Bridget a couple of times, she'll ask you for unique dishes, which is what I'm going to offer up now. But yeah, the, the training video just would have taken way too long so, it's just something I did off-screen. And I was like, well, I'll just tell the audience about, you know, what you get from it. So, it is worth doing. You also get a crap ton of U-material. So, if you were uh, needing U-material, well, that's a good way to get it. I wonder what she's going to give us. I read enough ahead to know that you had to come to here, come to her to do this. And if you need, uh, any materials, you can always go to uh, the cafeteria on your ship to get materials. And I think uh, Becky sells some monster materials. And if you can't buy them from Becky, um, look up online where to find the specific monsters that drop them and just go get them. And from her, we get the Revolution. I don't know what it does. Let's have a look. Hmm. Damage 10% for every level higher foe is than you. Hmm. I mean, that would have been nice to have earlier in the game, to be honest with you. But we're not quite done offering up uh, food dishes. Where we want to go now is to the actual kitchen itself. Because there's another NPC that we can offer food to. And I'm not talking about her down there. We already offered all the failed dishes. We actually want to come to Laura's friend, Monica. 
and offer her up some superb dishes when you talk to her. Would have been nice if they uh, had this as like a uh, as you go through the game thing instead of all at once at the end. But it is what it is. They could have also, you know, made it so like if you had it in your inventory and you talked to her, she just kind of took it. But I guess this is just their way of making it so that you can know which ones you need next. Excuse me. I'm missing one. What am I missing? We already did the Onigiri. Should have been all of them. Was I missing one? I sense some shenanigans. All right, let's get started. Fee's cooking power hour. Better than ex All right, let's get started. <gasps> oh, thank Were any of those the ones? Huh. Guess I'm just gonna have to come back because I honestly don't know what I'm missing. I hope this turns out okay. Pretty sure I offered up everything. Oh, this looks pretty okay. It's Fee's cooking power hour. Better than expected. I know I gave her the onigiri. <laughs> sure, I'd love to. It looks good. Really, it was the onigiri. Okay. What else am I missing? All right, well, I'll figure it out off screen. We've got other things to do. So let's see here.
Well, supposedly you can talk to Monk. And he proposes like a contest or something. But I don't know that you, that you get anything from it. Uh, from what the notes say here, he's got two different things. He's got the everyone wins. And then there's like colors, green, blue, yellow, or red. If you get green, I guess, you get tear bomb, EP charge, one, reviving bomb, and carry a bomb. Blue is a battle scope and five smoke grenades. Yellow is a proxy puppet, accessory, and red is various food ingredients. The feeling lucky, a thousand mira. A consolation prize is you material. Uh, if you get silver, you get three ground bait. Gold, various monster ingredients. If you get platinum, you get a tier all bomb, EP charge, four, celestial bomb, EX, and zerum powder. Yeah, I don't think I need to do this at all, but I'll just show it here. You can now apply to prize contest. To apply, speak to Monk, and then give him the mirror to apply on your behalf. There are two types of contests that you can apply to. These cost different amounts of mirror and have different prizes on offer. Okay. The cheaper of the two contests, you're guaranteed to win a decent-ish prize of some sort. Okay, so that's how it works. Well... Sure, I'm feeling lucky. So basically, get off the ship, go fight five battles, come back, talk it, talk to him, see what you win. All right. And you can't use the training battles on board the uh, courageous. For now, we want to talk to him and show him the monster guide. Nine new material. Ah, the Calamity Master Quartz. And that is the last Master Quartz we get for the... Uh, trophy, Return of Reen Quartzer. Forgetting all the Master Quartzes in the game. Let's see what it does. Calamity. Magic damage up when HP is high. Increased by a maximum of 120%. Physical damage is also up when an enemy HP is high. Ah, huh, that's kind of interesting. Alright. Also, if this is your subsequent playthrough and you've been collecting uh, very specific items, you can take them to him. Alright, uh, I've got one more thing to do here, and then I'm going to call the episode here. So that I can go and find out which of those darn recipes I'm missing. Wow! Rank A0? You're amazing! And with that, Here's we get the, the honor roll trophy as well. And we get the lion heart as a Wow! Pedal. That must have been tough. Let's 
let's see what that lion heart does. Wow. That's really good, actually. That's really good. If I give it to her, it'll lower her defense by 50 points and her magical defense and her health but it would prevent status ailments and status down and as she is one of our better healers it'd probably be best to give it to her hmm yeah let's do that one All right. Well, I'm going to call it here. I'm going to see what um, recipes I'm missing for Monica there. And when we return, I believe we're going to start doing the finale of this. So until then, I'm Zero Kai X. We'll see you in the next one.